Finally tonight, some thoughts from Ken Rice on the way life has changed for his family and maybe yours too. I'm speaking to you once again from my house. This has become my workplace for the better part of the past couple of months. I miss the newsroom, yes, but I'm not complaining. I'm lucky to have a job I can continue to do. But this isn't about me. It's about my house. It's not mine anymore. It's become more of a B&B, &B, just with the same long-term guests. As recently as February, my wife and I had the place to ourselves. We were empty nesters and we were enjoying it. Enjoying it very much. But then our son's college closed and he returned to his childhood bedroom. He's safe, we're happy. At the same time, we invited my mother-in-law to move in with us for a while. It felt safer here than at her seniors community. And in a few days, our daughter will return home to her bedroom, a fresh college graduate. Now, don't get me wrong, we're a family and we love each other, but we're all adults with our own schedules and rhythms and tastes in what to watch. All of the older folks have their own TV location and the kids naturally watch everything alone on their laptops. Like a and b our very polite guests reliably appear in the common area at mealtimes. They visit briefly with the other guests and then return to their quarters. There's always coffee and fresh fruit available and linen service is provided. Okay, yes, there have been some nice family moments, deep conversations, reminiscing, belly laughter, and when this is over, we're gonna miss everyone for sure. For a parent, there's a real sense of contentment in having your whole family with you under the same roof. Less so when there's no choice. No, you can't stay at a B&B &B forever. It's meant to be a break from real life, not real life itself. Checkout day is gonna come. It'll be bittersweet, but for the best.